We're back. Um, one, one note. Why is this? It looks sideways as shit. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Dude, come on. It doesn't make that much. You know what? Fuck it. it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, it's been a while. Sorry. I'm sorry. You know, summer is just tough for me, okay? But this is not the painting you These are not the droids you're looking for. This is a new painting. I had to pivot, you know? I find that I can usually paint stuff that is a little more, like, I like a little existentialism. I like a little, um, you know, like, irony, you know? I like a little bit of sadness and a happy painting, but when I decide to go all, um, you know, full Hannibal Lecter mode, it just, it just seems like that's not really my style. Get what I'm saying? So this is just a very like easy, simple piece. It's a floral piece. Honestly, I pretty much finished it. And it's because I just wanted to give you guys some, some stuff to look forward to um, because I need to get an episode out. And you know, my agent's like, oh, man. he's harassing me. He's like, get it done, dude. And I'm like, shit, man, I can't. You know, artist has got to work. He's got to work on his own schedule. So I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm over caffeinated. Over, I've been over served. But what I will say about that is it does tend to make me work a little faster. Better? That's another question. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of highlight the fire a little bit. I'm going to leave most of this and just put a little like whitish. I bought new brushes and it's always exciting for me to get new brushes because I don't take care of my brushes. So I've been on a reading tear um, and that's part of the reason I started doing the Hannibal Lecter was I finished the first book, Red Dragon, in this one. And now I am listening to audiobook, which still counts in my eyes for a book to read. I'm reading In, in Cold Blood, which is one of my favorite, favorite books of all time. And I'll tell you why. Um, I think it does a good job of like painting a picture of literally, look at that. Um, it does a good job of painting a picture of like, yeah, these two did a horrific thing. They murdered a whole family, but was one of them, was one of them like more responsible than the other? Humans have a strange way of getting influenced by people. You know, I think peer pressure is a big part of it. Wanting, wanting to be liked and the affirmation aspect of it all. Um, Perry was just such a complex man. And I think he wanted to be ultra masculine and try and impress Dick. And I think that kind of, um, it hurt him. It hurt him. I mean, he eventually got executed, so it really did hurt him. Um, I don't think I'm gonna offend anyone with that. It's quite the journey that Truman Capote puts us through. Not to mention, but the book before was Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is just, it's, it's an insane, um, those two back to back, it's genre shaking. It's, it's pretty crazy to me that he did those both. Trying to really mute my color palette on this one. Um, I'm calling it Cotton Candy Skies because of the background. It was gonna be a Spider-Man painting. White is such a cool color. It's really more like grayish white, which is better than just plain white. Artist tip, don't use just one pure color. Mix, mix it up a little bit, put something in there. Um, it's always fun to put something in there. Um, that is what she said. Um, yeah, that was, that was low hanging fruit. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to go back to oil because oil is so, um, oil is so fun. It's a lot of work, but you know, I'm just going to do an acrylic base and from there, we'll, we'll take it away. I guess the cotton candy, uh, sky kind of gives me a little bit of like a vanilla sky influence, which you haven't seen. Good movie. Great movie. Okay. I think I gave it five stars on letterbox, but Tom Cruise, Cameron Crowe, classic combination. Um, about this guy who gets in a car accident. I, I don't know if I've already talked about this, but it's Tom Cruise. So it's like, he gets in a car accident and his face is like a little messed up, but it's not that messed up. It's not like, it's not like it's like, 
Oh my gosh, he's so deformed. But he gets trashed at a party. And by trashed, I mean absolutely like made fun of in the club. And they're like, ah, oh, this ugly freak. And it's like, well, still Tom Cruise. I'm not even gonna zoom in. Actually, you know what, fuck it, I'll zoom in. Okay. So, Cotton Candy Skies. Um, I started with the background. I really tried to switch it to a brighter, pinker color, you know? Something that's a little more dreamscape, Salvador Dali-esque. Then, that also kind of reminds me of the Monet uh, Vanilla Sky type um, painting, which is very beautiful. Um, doesn't have as much uh, texture because it's acrylic, not oil. But then I went very blue and orange. Not a lot of red, unless you see the bottom. Red's very powerful, you know, it can really kind of overpower a whole thing. And I also didn't do a lot of um, just plain blue. I mean, there is some throughout, but not blue. Uh, what's, what's, the, what's the one? Ultramarine blue. And um, that's kind of why I wanted the ground to be a little brownish. So, this has been a great episode of Painting with Sam. Like, subscribe, let me know what you want. You know, it's been slower, but I'm gonna start to pick up soon. Just been enjoying life. That's what matters. So, you know, um, a mantra of mine, we are everything, we are nothing. So, um, sometimes when you feel depressed, maybe you just need a deep rest. Think about that and have a great day.